Listen to this. It's such like powerful advice from Allah Azza wa Jal. This is by the way, I consider this surah the surah of the fruits, the benefits of faith. First, the first half of the surah is a summary of our faith, the practical summary of our faith. And the next half of the surah is what are the advantages of being a believer? What good comes in your life because you're a believer? I didn't get to share that with you this time. But at least I want to tie up the, the, the first part. Allah describes, summarizes basically one of the most common reasons people refuse to accept guidance from Allah. One of the most common, not the only reason, but one of the most common reasons. What is it? ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّهُ كَانَتْ تَأْتِيهِمْ رُسُلُهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ that is because messengers came to them and they continuously came to them. They used to come to them with the clearest arguments, the clearest proofs. And they would say in response, flesh and bone, this, this human being, this guy looks like us, he's gonna guide us. You want me to listen to him? Have you looked at him? Have you looked at his house? Do you look who he hangs out with? All these poor people that have become Muslim with him? Do you know who you're talking to? You want me to become a believer because of this guy? This is how they would talk about prophets. Fir'aun would say about Musa Look at him, he can't even talk clearly. He stutters. He can't even open his mouth. <laughs> look at him. You want me to listen to him? People would come to Nuh alayhi salam. They would, he would walk by them and they would istaghshaw thiyabahum they would pull their clothes in like don't touch me old man you're dirty that's how they would talk to Nuh alayhi salam people, people you know Shu'ayb alayhi salam other messengers would come give a message and they would say listen I want to listen to you but I'm a millionaire I have a certain appearance to keep up and you keep all these homeless people these poor people these people are, these believers around you why don't you get away from them and then we can have a meeting in the executive office because I don't want to see this riffraff near me. I don't want to be seen with this low class, you know, this, this scum of society. I don't want to be seen with them. Get rid of them and maybe I'll listen to you. The criticism was always the same. Another human being is going to guide me? He's just like us. What do they say about Jesus? About Isa alayhi salam? Yamshi with us what? Fil aswab. What is this messenger? And they said about the, about the messenger too, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Well, look at this messenger. You think he's a messenger? He goes shopping. He walks around like everybody else does. He eats food too. He, I saw him having lunch the other day. How can he be a messenger? <laughs> that was the argument. In other words, and this is what I'm tying it up with, one of the most common reasons people refuse to accept guidance because, because they don't see that they're submitting to God. They say, why is, why is there a messenger in between? He's just like me. I can have a relationship with God myself. I don't need a messenger in between. And Allah says that is the very source of arrogance. Iblis was not asked to make sajda to Allah. He was asked to make sajda to Adam alayhi salam. Because it was a test of arrogance. He didn't directly show arrogance to Allah. He actually showed arrogance to Adam alayhi salam. He said, he's made of clay. I'm made of fire. I'm better than him. Allah, nobody's gonna say I'm better than Allah. But Allah wants to see, are you gonna say I'm better than X, Y, and Z? I'm, I'm better than these messengers, I don't have to follow them. They're just human beings, they make mistakes, they do this, they do that. When you, that is the very essence of arrogance from the very beginning of creation. From the very beginning. Even Iblis said, a bashar, a human being? Are you kidding me? Have you looked at my resume? I'm gonna follow him? It's not gonna happen. That is the same exact pride that comes, it's, the, 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 the mutant of that pride is still among us today. Somebody tries to give me advice. First thing that goes in my head, who are you to give me advice? Who do you think you are? Somebody gives, and I'm the khatib today. I'll lead the salat. After salat, somebody says, brother, I didn't like what you said. I'll say to him, do you know who you're talking to? I'm on YouTube, you know. <laughs> you know? You know who you're dealing with here? That is the very definition of arrogance. That is the very definition of negating guidance. Allah says nations of the past were destroyed because they couldn't take guidance from another human being. If the messenger is not with us today, his words, his instructions, his teachers, the people who, his students who teach on his behalf are here today. The scholars are here today, the da'is are here today. You know, the, remind, the people of reminder are here today. It could be your father giving you advice. It could be your brother, your cousin giving you advice. But you look at him and say, Dad, you're always saying the same thing. Leave me alone. You don't understand. You tell your son, who are you? You're going to tell me? I used to change your diaper, you don't talk to me. 
get out of here and you can't take advice from your son this is the same exact thing that keeps people from accepting guidance refusal to take advice from others because pride gets in the way may Allah Azza wa Jal remove the pride from our hearts and may Allah Azza wa Jal make us a people that really truly believe for the sake of Allah and can put their ego aside especially when advice is given may Allah Azza wa Jal revive in us the iman that Allah intends to revive by means of his majestic Quran all of you inshallah ta'ala as a short homework assignment when you go home today with your family recite Surah at taghabun Surah number 64 recite it, read a little bit even if in translation read it with your family Remind them of some of the things you, re- you heard about today And refresh that in your hearts inshallah ta'ala It's just a page and a half So even memorizing it in a week is not difficult for any of you Do that and slowly you get closer and closer to the Qur'an Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim Wa nafa'ni wa iyaakum bil ayat wa dhikr al-Hakim